Welcome on back everybody, Ever Egg giving you another exciting episode with more Zero Blade Chronicles 3 on the Nintendo Switch and welcome to it. So last time, cause uh, we just uh, got finished on, on taking on the one that's called a, a Twist of Fate, which we uh, already finished. And of course, uh, we get to um to the play a bit more of Kamarabi, well as you can see, because Kamarabi, Kamarabi I'm sorry, did uh, did make an appearance because we could actually use him for for gaining more support support of his um attack and all, all his uh, skills and everything but uh, we no longer have Miyabi in our party but if in case we wanted to play with her in the nearly base of the future now it's the best time that uh, we don't use her in full base of action because I know because that she can like you know she can get a lot better of just healing the on the group and all but uh, we don't need that much healing. I mean, we're, we're super strong and all. Because we're just going to keep a Kamarabi for the very first start. Because we're going to be heading somewhere at the upper of the uh, upper course of the, the ATR, ATR region upper. So we're going to get go to the high ground and chef in there. So now that you saw a coin to the west, because there's the main story over there. And up to the uh, far side, you can see that question mark icon. So that go and relay on our next uh, quest event. So we can go ahead and work our way back at the uh, Gabba Junction. It's the fastest way of how we get there. And we want to make it sure that uh, we get all of these uh, side quests done before pressing onward to the uh, main story and we reach through to the Cloud Keep. So without further ado, let's go on ahead and and steady along and just uh, doing what we, we must do. But just uh, completing everything that needs to be done around here. Now, speaking of which, because uh, if we go ahead and move further down south from here on out. So, there are going to be several more of these uh, roundabouts that, that we won't be worrying about. Is that? Um, yeah, I, you, you're right. I can barely see. The storm. I am the moon reflected in a stream. Huh. Okay, now, we want to go over. So, um, I want to go ahead and check in with our uh, character real quick. So, we go ahead and check in with... You know what, what can we go check out? Um, hold on. I'm guessing it's characters, class. Okay, so check it in with that tie on. So, it's a seems like that tie on can get more, but the uh, 689. Okay, so you know what? I mean, I don't produce on planning on equipping that on tie on right now because it's a seems like that we need to gain extra support. So, we're gonna keep two attackers, two defenders. And two healers. Alright, okay, we're gonna need another attacker in the, in the full party. On the skill to 1 to 10, I mean, we're gonna need him for, for gaining extra support because we have not done so far so good of, of collecting enough of no pun coin recently. So we're just gonna keep him in uh, in full party. So just to take a look at his, uh, his level. So let's uh, hold on. Okay, so Kamaravi is on level 69. Okay, so he's good to go. So let's go ahead and check in. So there's, there's going to be another side quest coming up. And of course, uh, we got here is uh, five of these uh, soldier huts that are already dead. I guess this is fate too, huh? Yeah, so this is the, um, the, so this is the path where we go ahead and, and send these uh, soldier huts into a better world. And Noah and Mia go and play their flutes. Okay, so we go ahead and listen to the melody. And yeah, so we can see all these uh, blue spots because um, that's uh, where that's uh, where their souls carry onward. They they go ahead and rest in peace up there, above the heavens. Okay, so here it comes. So the next side quest, let it rip. What's this now? Seriously, more of those mutters come to ruin our day again. Let's ruin theirs first. All right, so this next standard quest is called the Illusion Returns. Okay, so these are mysterious raiders are back, and we're gonna show show what we're capable of, of knowing what's the best uh, fit for. For these guys and we're gonna just send them to the place one after another so you know what i'll get the mysterious raider on the, the right so we'll get some fusion going okay so we're gonna have each other character go ahead and focus on targeting on one mysterious raider after another 
Okay, so we can go ahead and sheep on this uh, corner where it's called, where it's, which it says Art Follow Up. And we're gonna follow up more attack by going with the Reflective Edge. Okay, so we get that tri slash, get that break. Okay, well, we did get to the top, so, and we got the days. I mean, like, can we, like, at least go for more lunch? Will nobody learn how to use lunch? Okay, Mia, you are so weak. How in the world are you taking too much damage? Okay, so you know what? Let's get the, uh, the Shining Reframe going. So these guys are, are level 52. And they're not messing around. So why are we not building up a lot of stronger attacks? Okay, so one of these guys got defeated. So you know what? Let's just build up some more focus going on here. We can take it down a lot quicker. Alright, so we'll get this crash out going. But oh, wait a minute, am I getting poisoned? I can see I know it's AP. Am I being poisoned or, wh or what's going on here? Okay, well, I, 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 I'm pretty sure that's fine. Okay, so you know what? I'm, I'm ready to go in overboard. Okay, so we're gonna kick some serious ass over here and take out this uh, last of this uh, mysterious raider. Okay, and we get this phantom slash, and that is it. Okay, so that's all three of the mysterious raiders that we cleared. Alright, so let's go listen to the character what they had to say. Who is this girl? Where did she come from? For a soldier, she's awfully... Um... Yeah, I know what you mean. She looks about three terms old. Way too young to be fighting on the front lines. Not to derail the convo, but are we sure she'll be okay? We pulled her out of the left, but is there anything else we can do? I don't see any external injuries, but no signs of waking up either. Hard to tell either way. Hmm. Senna, don't worry. She's still alive. I'm sure she'll pull through. Mimi, you sure? Look, we can talk about her all day, or we can find her a doctor. I know which one I'd prefer. All right. But she and her people did assault colony soldiers, so taking her to a colony seems like asking for trouble. Then how about the city? They have medical facilities there. Indeed. Seems advisable. What do we do about the Levness? Let's leave it for now. Transporting the girl should take priority. Um, I can carry her. Thanks, Anna. She'll be in good hands. Yeah, I'll make sure of it. Alright, so this is called Inhumanity. Okay, so there's uh, another new hero quest coming up. Okay, so we already finished that uh, quest, which is uh, so-called the Illusion Return. Rely on coordinates of team attacks of a party minute to defend off with the lab Nets squad. But, okay, well, we're going to have to continue by pressing the OK, and we have to go talk to the Holus. Okay, so Holus is a bat somewhere in the city somewhere, so we go ahead and press some pause. And then we'll we'll check in back somewhere. Actually, yeah, we'll we'll skip to the uh, Remembrance Stones. It's uh, where all of these uh, people have uh, died and rest in peace. 
because we just said, go ahead and like uh, read their names and like um, if we're, if we're not like not saying anything that um, that comes up in our head, but using pronunciation of what their names are, which I have already died. That'd be my guess. That's um, some of these uh, people we don't know of. Anyway, stone, here we are. A place to still the hearts, so I'm told. That's right. It's a place to honor the dead and to look deep inside yourself. I like this place. It has an aura of calm about it. Yeah. I think I know what you mean. I feel the same, actually. Okay, so no character had to talk or say anything. Let's all go open the door and talk to Holus. Okay, so Holus is right there, so let's go have a word. Doctor. Oh, it's you. What got you in uh, such a flirt? Here's a let me tell you. Hmm, well, it seems like she simply temporarily lost uh, consciousness as a result of a, a blow to her head. Oh, so uh, does that mean that she'll be okay? Yes, it's a passing symptom. With a, a bit of a rest, uh, she should come awake naturally. Phew, that's a relief. Until she does, I'd like to keep her here for observation. Uh, wait, that's not really necessary. Seems the like uh, there might be a reason for your reluctance, hmm? N no, it's just the fact that she's, um, er... Uh, Oh dear, there's an empty house that's tucked away in a quiet corner of the city. I'll send one word to, to let you use it. Doctor, but the patient that will be transferred there. So the rest is up to you, hmm? I hope you'll find this uh, agreeable? Uh, yes, uh, thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. Uh, more than usual, I mean. If anything that happens, you know where to find me. Well, take care now. Okay then, so let's go ahead and open this door. And we'll probably check in, so is it seem like that we had to go and talk to Dr. I or Dr. Aid? I mean, I like, uh, I'm not sure if I'm saying his name correctly. I don't know what the A-I-D-E is supposed to pronounce. Is it I or Aid? No idea if I'm saying it correctly. Well, I'm going to pronounce it I in case it's wrong. Okay, so wait a minute, I think we're going the wrong way. Oh yeah, so I think we gotta go and move to east. Okay, so there's the doctor. Ah, you're here. About the girl we transferred here. She's just woken up. Whoa, really? Yeah, although I should say she's a little, um... Were there any complications? No, nothing like that. Or at least, nothing to complain to you about. You're not making sense, and it's getting me antsy. The doctor said she didn't need any medical attention, and... You know what? Why don't you just talk to her yourselves? Just bear in mind, she's still a patient, so take it easy on her, eh? Seems at least they kept her safe. But now what? Yeah, it ain't like we can just leave her here forever. Let's talk to her first, like you said. We should try to learn more. All right, but she's recently injured. We probably shouldn't all crowd her. You're right. If we're just asking questions, one person should be enough. That sounds like a plan. So who'll go? Surely it's uni, right? She deals with injured people all the time. And she should be right at home. Oh, yeah? Cheers for volunteering me. I'll go. You, Senna. Why the sudden impulse? Well... It's probably my fault she's like this. It was really more like an accident, you know? There's no need for you to feel responsible. It's not that exactly. It's more like... If I don't do something, um... I... I'll have a dirty... Con... A con... A con... Science. You've never heard that word out loud, have you? Oh... Well then, we'll leave the girl to you. Is that all right, Senna? Yeah, I'll be fine. Do be careful, though. She might be meek now, but keep in mind she and her mates came after us. We'll be right outside. If anything happens, just shout. I can handle myself, Mimi. But thanks. I will. Um, okay. Let's go inside. So the objective is saying we had to do the back in the room in... Uh, Kellum Residential Quarter. All right, so let's go ahead and enter it. Okay then, 
I'm going in. Ah! Hmm. Uh, um, hi! I, I see you've woken up. Hmm. How are you feeling? Any pain? Can confirm faint sensation of pain in cranial region. However, operational efficiency of number seven remains unaffected. What? Uh, uh okay. That's good. Actually, I'd, um, I'd like to apologize. <laughs> hmm. Before, I didn't realize you were inside that thing, and... Hmm. Um... Are you okay? No major issues detected. I... I see. Uh... Anyway, if it's all right with you, could you tell me something about yourself? The question lacks specificity. Number seven cannot respond. Oh, I'm really sorry. I, I guess that was a bit wishy-washy, huh? Well, for starters then, are you a Kavesi soldier or are you Agnian? Kavis, Agnes. Yeah, that's right. You must know those, right? Affirmative. However, discrepancy was encountered while processing query. Huh? What do you mean? Affiliation of number seven does not match either of two options provided. Doesn't match? Well, then that only leaves... Special Mobile Combat Unit under Direct Mobius Command, alias Colony Zero. Whoa, you know about Mobius? Affirmative. Then, when you attacked us... Colony Zero soldiers of numbers seven and below were tasked with eradication of Ouroboros. Whoa, that's... not great. So this girl really is our enemy. I have to warn the others. Although, is that really true? She did attack us, so why is she like this now? Um, what you just told me, it sounded really important. Won't you get in trouble for saying it? I was not ordered to silence on the matter. I... I see. Okay. Oh, shoot, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Senna. What's yours? I have no name. Huh? Number seven does not possess information under the category name. You don't have a name? Wait, so this number seven thing you've been saying all along? An individual identification number assigned to soldiers of Colony Zero. We do not belong to Kevis or Agnes. We are special assets. Publicly, we do not exist. Consequently, records of personal information stored in growth modules are also expunged at the time of birth. That's crazy. Shall I consider the questioning to be over? No, wait. What you just said. You don't think it's strange? Cannot ascertain purpose of question. Requesting additional clarification. I, I mean, for example, that name thing. A colony that calls people by a number, that's so dehumanizing. Don't you feel bad to be called like that? I mean, you're the same as us, after all. Cannot ascertain purpose of question. <sighs> oh. Requesting clarification. <sighs> Senna. Hey, you okay? Did you learn anything? Hang on, love, you don't look so good. What happened, Sana? Mimi, I... I... I don't know what to do. Hey, Sana, everything's fine. Let's go somewhere we can talk. Is that all right? Yeah, sure. Okay, so this is another new info with, for the new topic which is available, which is uh, stage number seven. This is some story. Well, at least uh, she needs to see the professional or get a doctor so that they can uh, give them, get her a new name. 
I mean, like, number seven is not technically a name. It's like, it's like a, a serial number. So, uh, let's go ahead and find a place where we can rest up the short. I mean, we, we can find ourselves a king team where we can uh, rest the short. We can uh, discuss our, our next topic, what we gotta be doing to, to resolve the situation. That's Ethel, always trying to better herself. More power to her. Hunger is stirred. The whole thing that was a total cluster snuff, wasn't it? But uh, you got me uh, off of a hole. You took a good care of me too, but it works. You're a real big heart bunch. Well, once there's someone helping me out to do just like this, and that person was uh, a lot like you, I couldn't have just leave you be. Yeah? Well, I guess I owe some of gratitude to uh, whoever that was. By the way, I seem to have angered Michiba earlier. She's hard to read. Any ideas, Noah? Um, well... I don't really think I can help you there, mate. Alright, enough talk. I mean, I don't want to hear wh whatever Kamaravi and Noah had to say anymore. But uh, let's go ahead and discuss this uh, next topic. So, what's going on? So, why this uh, comet canceled? Okay, so city camp, uh, skip travel to the uh, designated rest spot. Well, I mean, I don't care. I mean, let's let's just do it. We are now where we need to be. Okay, so we need to be somewhere at the city we camp. Do with some food. Okay, not at the, at the uh, Michiba camp team. Okay, so let's go ahead and discuss uh, what we gotta be, what we gotta to handle this situation. Something that's called Where city camp. Colony Zero. Wow. They did seem like more than regular soldiers, but that's wild. If they're palling around with Mobius, we can't really ignore them, I suppose. We still have very little information. I think a more thorough investigation is in order. Okay, but we're talking about a tiny third term here. <sighs> Sana, what do you think? Huh? W where do I think about what? You're the one that spoke with her. What's your gut telling you? I just... I just asked questions and she just answered them. But... Even though she attacked us, she doesn't seem hostile or violent. And when I spoke to her, she was literally just answering questions. It didn't feel like a conversation at all. She looks like us, but is actually a whole different kind of being. That's how I felt. And then I got scared of her, and... Oh, I'm sorry, Senna. Senna, give us your honest opinion. Do you think she's an enemy? I don't really know yet. That's kind of why I... I'd like to try talking to her again, I think. What do you mean? You just said you were scared of her. I am, it's true, but... I want to make sure I got the right idea, and that's stronger than my fear. Not just about if she's an enemy, but also about who she actually is, how she thinks and feels. Uh, I get it. You need a bit more time for that, sure. Right. I also want to say sorry for leaving without saying anything last time. Okay then, if you're doing a house visit and apologizing at once, how about a little gift to grease the wheels? Oh, Sana, you could bring her your onigiri. Onigiri? It's a portable Agnian snack made of packed boiled mithras. They're lovely and salty, especially the way Sana makes them. They really hit the spot after a long training session. Huh? You can make food? Oh, of course I can. Onigiri, at least. Oh, wait, but we don't have any Mithrais. They should have decent reserves in Colony Lambda. Hey, nice. No, hang on. How'd you know that off the top of your head? Commander Izzard likes them. The Onigiri. Well, that's just peachy then. Hope he doesn't mind sharing. Thanks, you guys. Um, okay, well that's where we go in. So we have to go and head to the Lambda, to the Colony Lambda, and speak to the soldier, of course. Alright, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and, and, Vamanos. So, uh, we'll try the, uh, the Lambda Canteen. Doesn't hurt a thing or, or a ton. I mean, we could just, uh, go warp rare and we just go fast travel back to that colony. And instead of going back to the, uh, city, I mean, I mean, that's the where we go and, and st stupid launch of progress of just the speed traveling back there where we go and check in with uh, Commander Short. I mean, 
Well, technically, no. I mean, we, we were supposed to go and check in with the, uh, the soldier. My hunger is stirred. The Lambda soldier. Okay, so there's nothing new going on around here in Colony Lambda. So Colony, Colony Lambda doesn't seem half close to finish. So we'll go talk to the soldier. You want a myth rice? Sure, I don't mind. Feel free to grab some if you like. We're closer to the uh, water here, so the harvest is always a good quality. Huh? I, I never knew. If you ever need more, uh, just a uh, ho holler at your boy. Now we only need a place to cook. They taste the best when they're fresh, so maybe we could have used the canteen in the city. Okay, so we did collect one of the snow rice, snow rice myth rice. Okay, so we have to make our only gluey at the Michiba Canteen. All right. Now, before doing that, uh, let's go ahead and talk to the Tonia. All right, all right, Tonia, I want to talk to you. Both of the sensors that are barring the setup are very working all right. Oh, so it seems. I'm not convinced that they're exactly in the best as possible. Uh, how do you mean? Well, Makfa Waterwood opens out to, onto the upper levels of the Great Falls. In my opinion, that's for the kind of place that you should have been looking at. I see some relations have changed. All right, so you know what? We're gonna switch with Senna. So this is uh, gonna be the next uh, Senna story, and also there is a new info coming right at the back. So I'm worried uh, for that uh, Marine Shijima it was uh, exceptional for what he did, and now he's gone. True, but uh, what can we do for her? We're not all serious ourselves, are we? Okay, so this is uh, Maureen and Shij Shijimi. Got it all memorized. Okay, so that's a new discussed topic that we must go over later. Uh, right now, we, it's uh, asking that we need to go ahead back to the city. And it's the, uh, the fastest way how we get there. So we'll go ahead and fast travel back at the, uh, at, back, back where it said Michiba Canteen. Okay, so that's where we go ahead and cook up one of this, um, this onigiri. Alright, well, oh, not, uh, not onigiri, I think it's, yeah, sorry, uh, my bad. I think we, we were supposed to cook one of those, those myth rice. My hunger is stirred. Oh, actually, no, 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 never mind. Forget what I just said, forget what I just said. I mean, we were supposed to make the onigiri. Okay, I was right before. So, uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and check in, so we're... Now we just go ahead and barge into someone's cook. So let's go interact with the A button. Man, I haven't made onigiri in a minute. Hope I. Hold on. Man, I haven't made onigiri in a minute. Hope I can still shape them right. Ah, that's nice. Now. Let's take them to our patient. All right, so we did make an onigiri. Oh, my bad, you guys. I I was um, getting not involved with the relaxing with my thumb a little bit because I just kept on mashing the A button, which I didn't even uh, listen to what the uh, Santa was uh, talking about. But anyway, here we are. So we're all set there, and we're about to to, to carry the uh, onigiri to to the um to the, to the patient. I'm growing quite accustomed. Yes. Okay, Kamaravi, I'm sorry. I'm not even speaking English correctly while well, I'm trying to get better at it. But, uh, but you don't have to be scared of heights. Weakness. On Travis's urging, I should say. All right, now let's go and barge in. Senna, wait. This time around, we'd like to sit in on the conversation too. Huh? But I thought... No worries. We'll hang back and watch. We're happy to let you do the talking. Uh, okay then, if you say so. Hey, sorry to intrude. Can we have a moment? No objections. You wish to resume questioning? No, that's not why I'm here. It's just that last time, I was kind of rude. So, to apologize, I thought I'd visit again and bring you a little something. <gasps> I figured you might be hungry. They're called onigiri? Yes. I'm not very good at this, so they're about the only thing I can make. Yes. 
but I can guarantee they're tasty. And actually, Mimi says so too. Uh, Mimi, I, I mean Mio, she's... Yes. Oh, sorry, my bad. Please, feel free to eat. I will eat. How about it then? Cannot ascertain purpose of question. Are they tasty? Did I make them right? With regard to first question, number seven, comforter, tasty to be accurate, assessment. Oh, r really? That's good to hear. In regard to second, application of manual pressure resulting in compaction and prior cohesion, also showing excess salt level. Oh, uh, no wait, that's the best part. Isn't it nice and chewy? <laughs> Affirmative. Huh? Number seven has not taken sustenance in this form before. Currently considering that others of Colony Zero may also enjoy the experience. Oh, you think so? Particularly number nine seemed to be growing disaffected with the rations being distributed. And number three, whose calorie intake exceeds the baseline, may find these more sating. As a precaution, salt levels may have to be marginally adjusted, pursuant to guidance from number six. Huh. Hmm. Is there a problem? No, no, it's nothing. Oh, but if it's okay with you, could I ask you to tell me more? Acknowledged. Continuing explanation. So, were the onigiri tasty? You already have a sufficient reply to this question. Have you come to like the onigiri I made? Affirmative. Well, that's good then. I'll make them for you again sometime. Yes. Well, she eats like normal, and she can handle small talk. Yeah, there's nothing suspicious about her. Except she talks funny, but whatever. Let's let Senna keep her talking for a bit longer. Hey, you said you didn't have a name. Recollection of making such a statement exists. Well, then, what about Sigiri? Perhaps this is some sort of code or cipher. No, I'm just... I was asking what you thought about Sigiri for a name. Cannot follow logic behind query. Requesting more rational explanation. You're using difficult words again. I, I just didn't want to keep only calling you you. The designation number seven is... Right, I, I just took the se part from seven and, and tacked on the giri from onigiri. Sagiri! Failure to comprehend basis for utilizing this nomenclature. Well, it's cause... You said you liked Onigiri just then. Whoa, 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 whoa. Senna, don't you think you're taking it a bit far? Yeah, love. Did you lose your brain at the gym or something? I'm sorry, Senna. I don't think I see what you're after here. Whoa, when did everyone get so mean? I think it's a great name, Sagiri. You... Yeah, I think so too, actually. It seems really, um, friendly somehow. <laughs> it's not really like you to come out with something like this, Senna. Really? Well, maybe so. But Mimi, I don't think it's right to call a person by a number. Hmm. Hey, I'm sorry. I let my mouth run away from me. I understand if you felt hurt by it. Regulations contain no special provisions on restricting designation. Huh? Number seven has no authority based on which to reject proposed designations, whatever they may be. Does that mean we can call you Sigiri and you won't mind? Affirmative. Well, there you have it then. Affirmative. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, Senna. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> the girl might still be a total mystery. But really, it wouldn't have been right to call her number seven.
Well, at least uh, we already give her a name, Sigiri. Okay, Sigiri as uh, Onigiri. <gasps> what happened? A coded transmission from Colony Zero. The Mobius Consul F is requesting parlay with Ouroboros. The Mobius is requesting what? Number seven will use own iris as relay to forward the transmission to you. A pleasure to make your acquaintance, my young Ouroboros friends. I am F, and before we go further, I would like to sincerely apologize for the discourtesy of this method of introduction. Ugh, what a shameless slug. He thinks we'll forget he tried to kill us. You say you want to parley. How do you imagine that will go at this point? I'm certain you'll feel guarded, and rightly so. And yet with that acknowledged, I would like to offer an opening of negotiations with you. Negotiations? Should you accept my invitation, I will rescind the extermination order on you, Ouroboros. Colony Zero will henceforth no longer concern itself with your comings and goings. Oh, that'd be swell! If we were stupid enough to trust your word. And your demands? The bodily return of number seven. Huh? And that's it? That's all it would take for you to never fight with us again? Yes, you have my guarantee, and that of the whole of Colony Zero. Are you joking? You're Mobius. You'd throw away one or two soldiers without batting an eye. Certainly some consuls do display such callousness, a deplorable state of affairs. But not I. I hold the light of life possessed by Colony Zero to be of the utmost importance. Naturally, that includes number seven. That is precisely why I have reached out to you, nominally my enemies, even with the concomitant difficulties acknowledged. Are you telling the truth? Come on, Senna, don't fall for it. Can you give us a guarantee that you aren't lying to us right now? Of course, is what I'd love to say, but naturally, simple words are never enough to engender trust. I know. I've sent the current coordinates of Colony Zero to number seven. We shall remain here. Should you find yourselves receptive to my offer, do please pay us a visit and bring number seven with you. So you think giving us your location will make us trust you? How do we know this isn't a trap? In such a circumstance, you would possess a handy hostage in number seven. I trust I needn't say more. Ugh. Has this guy heard the way he sounds? Of course, that is not what any of us really want. My desire is to see number seven safely return to me. That is all. Number seven? Yes? I am tasking you with guiding them to Colony Zero. Follow their command until you return. Compliance. And number seven? Yes. We've all been worried about you. Hmm. That will be all. I will eagerly anticipate the day when we meet in more favorable circumstances. By the Consul's authority, number seven is hereby assigned to the Ouroboros's command as an exceptional measure for the duration. Pending your decision on the outcome of the proposed exchange, I await your command to depart. Well, this was... unexpected. Sigiri, what do we do with you? Okay, so we're gonna get more questioning with Sigiri later right now because um, this is just a long, long hero quest for today and I don't want to make this episode way too longer for you guys, but... Well, maybe for like, um, let's just say we're gonna leave it for for a 30 minute video, but um, but, but less long. But eventually, that's gonna have to do it. So next time, we'll get some more question and answer from uh, from Sigiri and figure out who this uh, Colony F and uh, where he's uh, hiding all of this. I mean, somehow he uh, may be spotted to the trick number seven. I'm not necessarily sure yet. So we're going to to see what's going to happen next on the uh, on the next two guys. So you don't go anywhere. 
and you will be participating on staying tuned on my next video. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to tune in and watching this episode. So if you like this series and you want to see more of the Zero Blade Chronicles free, be sure to leave an advertiser like, share the video, and subscribe. If you do subscribe, ring the notification bell so that you'll be still up there notified to when my new and awesome videos have another way. So that's going to have to do it for today with uh, Zero Blade Chronicles free. We will be picking up more on the next one. So take care, take care you guys, and I hope to talk to you on the next video.